In this problem, we have a gray car traveling at 80 kilometers per hour east and it has a mass of 2,300 kilograms. At the same time, we have a yellow car that is traveling north at 100 kilometers per hour and has a mass of 1,400 kilograms. After an inelastic collision, what angle will the cars travel at and what will the final velocity be? Recall that an inelastic collision is where the two objects are fused together into one solid mass and the momentum is conserved. Momentum is simply the mass times the velocity. So the first thing that we do is draw out the momentum vectors. We have the mass times velocity of the yellow car going north and the mass times velocity of the gray car going east. We can now start solving for what the final vector angle will be. We can use the inverse of the tangent of the momentum of the yellow car over the momentum of the gray car. This results in the final angle after the collision of 37.2 degrees. Basically what we did there is turn the vector into a right triangle. We used SOHCAHTOA to solve for the angle. Being that we had the side length opposite and the length adjacent, we used the inverse tan. If it is unclear why we're doing this, review SOHCAHTOA in trigonometry. Now we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which is simply a squared plus b squared equals c squared, to find what the black final momentum vector will be. After taking the square root of the momentum of the yellow car squared plus the momentum of the gray car squared, we are left with a momentum of 231,205 kilograms kilometers per hour. Looking at the units, we can see that in order to get velocity, we must divide by the mass total. After dividing by the mass total, we get an answer of 62.5 km per hour for the final velocity after the collision. That concludes this video. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thank you for watching.